the back of the hall is the first place to fill and people want to experience a concert as far away from the stage as possible and I'm convinced it's uh, post-Catholic traumatic stress disorder and fear of the priest. And so, thank you, thank you. Such a, it's such an honour to sing this song here, so close to the Jeannie Johnson, so close to that incredible sculpture just down the road there, beside the river. One of the few public works of art in Dublin that's never been vandalised. It's good, man. Thank you. 1984, I was sitting in my little basement apartment in Rathgar Road, just off Rathgar Road. My brother Andy, who lives in Cork and now, and his wife Sandra came to visit. They spent about two hours with me and when they left and the door closed, they were heading off to the airport, they were going to America. We didn't know when they were going to return. Would it be a year, would it be two years, would it be 10 years? And when the door closed and I went back in and sat down, I just felt this indescribable sense of just loss and emptiness in the pit of my stomach. It was, it was really quite visceral and... Um, I suppose a lot of people, if they got a feeling like that, they'd go off to the pub and have a pint or they'd do something to distract themselves from the, the difficulty and the rawness of the feeling. But I guess one of the challenges of being a songwriter is to try and find the courage to be vulnerable and to sit there with the feeling and just sit with it and not analyze it too much, just to sit with it and be with it. And usually if you do that, somewhere along the line, you might get lucky and in the midst of all this vulnerability and rawness and sorrow and sadness, you'd be blessed with a little gem of a song. So I found myself reflecting after about a half an hour, asking myself, why, why is this so painful? And uh, I suddenly asked myself a question. If, if this feels like this for me, what must it have been like to stand down at the harbour in Cove in 1847, saying goodbye to your loved ones, knowing the only certainty was that you would never ever see them again, you'd never hear their voices again. About a half an hour later I had this little song. was the year it all began Deadly pains of hunger drove a million from this land They journeyed not for glory Their motive wasn't greed Voyage of survival far across the stormy sea evening shadows fall There are people dreaming Of the hills of Donegal Some of them knew fortune Some of them knew fame more of them you hardship died upon the place. They spread throughout the nation, they rode the railroad cars, brought their songs and music to ease their lonely hearts. 
to the city of Chicago as the evening shadows fall there are people dreaming of the hills of Donegal Was the year it all began Deadly pains of hunger Drove a million from this land Woo! Oh, Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Turtle Humbery.